Hey guys, this is Cuban Panda Two <clears> Two, <throat> and uh, as you can see, I have all this right here. Uh, it's a box and a half of cubes, so uh, I'm just gonna leave that there. But one, two things: one, um, yeah, different setup. Uh, I'm just you can <laughs> you can see my face right here, but it's a different setup because I have my webcam pointing down towards my table, so you can see my cubes and what I'm doing and this is usually the setup you're going to see and um yeah and I'm also starting a new series called a uh, story story series I don't know it's not gonna have a, a name it's just gonna be I tell you stories while I cube so yeah <laughs> so this is my cube collection video I'm just gonna go over my cube collection and right here I have a box full of some cubes. So first I want to start with some accessories and stuff. So here's the screwdriver I use to tension my my cubes. I just pop the center cap off right here. And then you use the screwdriver to put those down to make it tighter or looser. And here is the same thing except it's for this one because this one doesn't have a uh, screw in it. It has a nut and a and uh, it has like a nut, so you have to use this to screw down the nut. And yeah, so I'm going to go over some accessories. And here is a box, which is for another video. Uh, not right now, but yeah. Okay, and I have two cube stands from ooh, I have a yellow one and a pink one from the cubicle.us. A uh, huge shout out to the cubicle.us. I'll leave a link to them in the description. And uh, I have a. This is also for later. So let's start with the cubes, I guess. So let's start out with my three by threes. I've got a. I've got this one. It's called Ignan Two Five Seven. It's not very good. It pops a lot. And I have it on really loose tension, so well it's like medium tension, but it still pops. This is my main right now, it's the Along V2. And it's very nice. Like it. Well, here is my one lock. Uh, I actually got it for that that's for another story another time, so yeah. So Mega Minx. Uh, it's the Shangshan Mega Minx, and it's missing a piece there. It's still movable and solvable. Uh, we've got a Sudoku cube that's pretty much crap. Not even gonna go over it. Uh, I've got a, I've got a square one. It's a Guanlong square one. It was six dollars, and I would say it's definitely worth the price. It hasn't popped once for me, and it isn't solved as you can see. I've got a Pyrrhinx, it's like QJ, it's the worst one on the market, not even going to go into detail. Uh, I've got two timers, which, this one isn't even mine, it's my friend's. I stole it at a comp I, on accident. <laughs> he left it there and I thought it was mine, so. I'm just going to put those there, and we've got, oh my god. Okay, we're going to, we're going to go over this one second to last, so. Here's this one. It is a Lingpo 2x2. Two two. It's missing a piece, an inner piece. I'm going to see if I can find that right now. There, look. There's missing an inner piece right there. My friend actually has the inner piece, so I'm going to get that for him. By the way, solve. Sorry, I'm really bad at 2x2, two two, but there you go. Uh, we've got a Cyclone Boys. Um, I think it's like a Feiru or something. I don't, I don't know. But it's, it's okay. I mean, this was my first speed cube, actually, so. Yeah. Um, last thing in the box here is a 4x4 that I got for $4 that isn't solved because I have double parity and I don't know parity. So. 
Okay, back to. Oh, oh by the way, the box is empty. <laughs> and here we have uh, my Rubik's brand, which is. It's okay for a Rubik's brand. It hurts whenever you do M slices, so I'm not gonna. I'm, yeah, because it has to be like aligned evenly. I'm gonna do an E perm. Yeah, just. It's just pretty much just blocky. That's like its only problem. I mean, it's not like it's not like slow. It's just a little sluggish. But it was my first cube ever, as you can see, because the stickers are peeling off a lot. Um, and now onto the last cube. It's this one. As you can see, I have it in the box, and that is for one reason. It, um, I went to Stone Study Fall 2016, and I have it signed by loads of cubers that were there, so. So, I have, uh, Ro Hessler, I have, uh, Keen Ellis, Sean Belke, or Uber Cuber, uh, Andrew Park, have, let's see. Yeah, just keep cubing. Uh, Colin Burns and Andy Huang. So yeah, there's a there's that's my signature cube right there. It's actually a Lamar two by two, which isn't actually bad. It's pretty nice, but I don't want to mess with it too much because <laughs> yeah, there we go. And then that's all my cubes that I have. I'd say that's about like maybe like 17, 20 cubes. Yeah, if you guys can tell me, tell me how many it was in the comments down below. And yeah, there you go. That was the cube collection video. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all in the next video tomorrow. Bye.